Welcome biologists, this session where we're going to look at the structure and function of the different blood vessels within the body. So first of all, let's have a look at the roles of these different blood vessels. So the arteries carry the blood away from the heart under a high blood pressure. That high blood pressure is generated by the contraction of the ventricles and the arteries help to maintain that high pressure. These then feed into arterioles, which are smaller arteries. The arterioles then feed into capillaries, which are one cell thick, and this is where tissue fluid will leave the capillaries, leave the blood to bathe the cells. The capillaries then link back into venules and then venules into veins, which carry the blood back to the heart. Now, the larger vessels are made up of these different layers here. So we have the tunica externa, which is made of collagen and provides strength for that vessel. We have the tunica media, which is made up of smooth muscle and elastic fibres. So smooth muscle contracts here to control the flow of blood. The elastic tissue, this is the thing that's um, involved with maintaining the high blood pressure. So the elastic fibre will stretch and recoil back to its original shape. Uh, the tunica intima, that is the layer that lines the innermost side of the vessel. And this is made of squamous epithelial cells. Uh, they are smooth, so what they do is they help to reduce the friction between the blood flow and the wall of the vessel. And then we've got the lumen, and that is where the blood passes through. So in an archery, we've got a very narrow lumen. This is because I have a very thick tunica media. The tunica media is made up of elastic fibres and smooth muscles. So as I just mentioned there, the heart will generate the high pressure within the blood that flows into the arteries because of the contraction in the ventricles. But that high pressure is maintained by the elastic fibres, not the smooth muscle. So those elastic fibres stretch and recoil back to their original shape to help maintain the pressure in the blood. The smooth muscle... Uh, it doesn't have a massive role in the arteries, but it can contract to, um, to monitor the blood flow and control the blood flow in the, the um, arteries. We've also got the tunica externa, which is made of collagen to help give strength to that particular blood vessel because the blood is under very high pressure in the arteries. So this is just summing up what I've just discussed. If you want to pause it and read it. Arterioles are smaller than arteries and um, they have a very similar composition except for they don't have as much elastic fibre and this is because the blood is under slightly lower pressure than they were than it was within the arteries. However, the muscle here plays quite a, a vital role because it's involved in vasoconstriction and vasodilation. So if I was to undergo vasoconstriction, the muscle fibres within the, the wall of the arterioles will contract to limit the blood flow to a certain area of the body. Uh, this is a capillary. The capillaries are one cell thick. They're made up of squamous epithelial cells. They're very smooth to prevent any friction between the blood and the capillary wall. They're one cell thick, which is fantastic for diffusion and a short diffusion distance between the capillaries and the tissue where it is. It also has small gaps here between these squamous epithelial cells. These small gaps are called fenestrations and they're ideal for the, the passage of substances in and out of the blood as well. There's also a lot of capillaries which give it a large surface area for the exchange of substances such as carbon dioxide and um, oxygen in and out of the tissue fluid as well. So here's a sum of summary of those points. And this is a picture of the network of fibre, uh, network of capillaries I was just talking about. So the arteries feed into arterioles and then into capillaries. The capillaries feed into venules and then veins. Now the capillary network here, as you can see, it's quite extensive. And the pressure, the blood pressure inside the capillaries drops dramatically in comparison to what it was in the arteries. And this is partly due to the large surface area of the capillaries, but also because of tissue fluid leaving the capillaries at this stage within the system. Um, so the last ones that we need to be aware of are the venules and the veins. So a vein has a very large lumen. This is because the blood is under a low pressure here. We no longer need to maintain that high blood pressure. It's got a thin tunica media because it's got a lower percentage of the elastic fibre and the smooth muscle. But we still have that tunica externa there to give the, the, the muscle, the sorry, the vein strength. Um, now, the key thing here that wasn't in that diagram is that these veins have valves in to prevent the backflow of blood. We don't want the blood to go back down my leg towards my feet because of gravity. So the valves help to prevent that from happening. And this is what a valve looks like. So it helps the blood to go in the one direction um, towards the heart. So that's everything we need to know about the structure, but you do need to be aware of a photomicrograph. So the key thing here is an artery has a thick wall and a narrow lumen, whereas a vein has a wide lumen and a thin wall.